My name is William Thurman with the News Journal, and we're here tonight to do an investigative report on local 1111 ASME. The flawed elections, the tampering with the ballot boxes, the mishandling of funds, the good low slate versus the Wallace slate, uh, all these bad, bad inconveniences that have happened. We, you, the public, need to know about it and just how bad it is. It's a shame. I feel like these people have been disenfranchised and their story should be heard. We're going inside this meeting so that you can hear what they, the members, have to say. And we'll come back. Hello, my name is Karen Dean. I'm employed at Stroger uh, Hospital. I've been employed at Stroger for 33 years. I'm currently a secretary, and I'd like to take the time to thank Mr. Thurman um, and his staff for allowing our voices to be heard here today. I'm uh, speaking, we are speaking here today in regards to um, an election that was held. The initial election was held in March 2012. Um, Carmen Goodlow Slate versus Jewel Wallace Slate. At that election on March 20th, there um, at the close of the election, the Carmen Goodlow slate um, that was chosen by Carmen Goodlow, um, the election committee that was chosen by Ms. Goodlow, um, collected all ballots and all materials that were related to the election, and we were followed them into another room so that the ballots could be counted and tallied. Um, Miss the committee chairperson um, removed ballots from the box. She separated the Goodlow and the Wallace in two different stacks and the total for Goodlow was 222. The total for Wallace Slate was 290. Um, at the, after that, we signed off on that uh, victory for the Wallace Slate. After that, we have not seen or heard anything related to that victory for Miss Wallace. And in the meantime, Miss uh, Goodlow, she decided that she would appeal. And also in the process of her appeal, uh, there was very much um, a horrific amount of character assassination, physical and verbal abuse uh, towards Miss Wallace. Um, the appeal did go through by the judicial panel, and on May 30th, there was a redo of that election. There were 760 ballots that were sent out. Um, those ballots had an old P.O. box uh, that only the Willis Goodlow slate had access to. Um, on June 5th and 7th, there was another um, 60 plus uh, ballots sent out as duplicates. Uh, they also had uh, the an old PO box return address that only the election committee under Ms. Goodlow had access to. On June 13th, 378 ballots uh, were removed from a new PO box that the judicial panel had established. Um, the box, the, the key to the new P.O. box was one was kept by uh, the judicial panel leader and the other key was given to the election committee that's overseen by Carmen Willis Goodlow. Um, the final count for that redo election, which was a mail-in um, election, mail-in ballot, uh, came up to 298 for the Goodlow slate and 50 for the Wallace slate. There is a grossly impaired problem with that uh, result. How do you lose 300 votes? How do you lose 300 votes almost? Miss uh, Wallace did. So our question is today, we want to know what happened to the other ballots? What happened to the ballots? 